Hello everyone, welcome back. So before going to create queue, so we need to set up the active MQ setup. Okay, we need to set up active MQ. So now you know how to download and uh, how to run the active MQ server. Okay. So in order to download, you can go through this link and click on Windows based, extract the folder and go to this location and click on active MQ bat file. Okay, it's already running in my machine. So anyway, I'll show you one more time. See, without running this server, so if you go with this link, I mean 8161 port, you will get this error. Okay, you will get this error. So what we need to do? So we need to, to go to C drive. So wherever you have placed your Apache Active MQ file, go to bin Windows 64. Click on this Active MQ bat. Okay. So it is running. Okay. Let's wait for a few seconds. See here, active MQ web console is available in 8161. Now we can go to 8161. Okay, see automatically it is refreshed. And click on this manage active MQ browser. Click on this queues. So here I need to create queue name. Okay, I'm going to create my queue name as VATIC sample. Okay, I'll keep it as VATIC customer test or snow. I'll keep it as like this. See, so this is my queue name. Okay, this is my queue name. Just to create a queue. See, the queue name is created. The queue name is created. Let's copy paste here. So this is my queue name. Now, go to AnyPoint Studio. Click on File and create new project here. New project. So VA Tech. Sample. JVM demo. Or active MQ demo. JVM. I'll keep it as active MQ. Okay, this is my active MQ publisher, right? I'll keep it as pub. So we need to create two projects. One is for publisher. Another one is for subscriber or else we can keep it everything in a single project itself. Okay. So that is up to you. So how we are going to keep it. So better I will create two projects. The project is created. Click on this HTTP, drag the listener. Wait for the program end, okay. Click on this plus button, okay. So I want to run this my producer with 8081 port, okay. Let me keep it 8081 and click on OK here. Next, the path. The path is very important. So here you need to provide your resource path. JMS Publisher. Okay, I'm going to keep it like this. So this is my resource path. 
add the logger. Before publish message into queue. Next, click on this add module. So here you can able to see JMS. Okay, there is a module called JMS. Drag this module and keep it here. Okay. Now. Drag this publish. Drag this publish. So here we need to configure, okay? There's a configuration section. Here we need to configure. See, active MQ configuration, okay. Click on configure, click on add Maven dependency. Just click on finish. So automatically it will download the jar for this. Okay. So these are all optional dependencies, okay? So no need to configure. Just observe here. So consumer, producer, and this advanced tab, okay. Go to general. So here you can able to see connection. So what is the connection type? Admin. The password is admin. So the web URL username and password, okay? Now, come to little bit down. Connection factory, it is connection factory. So this is very important. Click on this, edit in line. Connection factory, right, okay or factory configuration. Okay, one minute. This is none. So factory configuration, okay? You have to click on this factory configuration. So here you need to provide your broker URL, okay? So what is our broker URL? So this is your broker URL. See, DCP. 61616. This you have to provide. So anyway, we have copied here, right? Let me pick it. So you can create external configuration file and you can read from the properties. So as of now, just I'm keeping all the values in directly, okay? I'm setting all the values directly. It's like hard coding all the values. So now what you can do, just click on test connection and observe. See, now you can see test connection is successful. Okay, fine. Click on okay. Mm -hmm. So now, here you need to provide, okay, before that, there are some settings, I think. There are no errors, publish, right? So in the publish, we have, we do have general, publish configuration. Okay, that's fine. So destination type is Q. So here we need to set the Destination, so destination, what is the destination here? So the destination, we need to keep it as 
our Q name. Sorry. What is the Q name? VI Tech Customer Snow Q. So you can create number of queues. Okay, fine. So as of now, you can configure this one, okay? This is how we can configure. So before this, what we need to do is, I want to transform the message, okay? I want to transform the payload. Keep it as JSON, okay? So the same payload we are going to publish into this topic. Sorry, queue, this queue. Okay, the customer queue which we have created. Okay, so as of now, there are zero messages. It's like number of pending messages, number of consumers. Okay, this everything we can see. So once it is successfully done, what we can do, let's add one more thing. Okay, or else not required. I'll add the logger here. Send message is success for the queue, okay? So this is the message, I'm going to keep it here. Let's try to understand. Now, so the publisher is done. So what you can do, you can run the publisher if you want. Okay, you can run the publisher and you can keep on, you can send the messages. But, so we do require publisher as well as consumer, right? Okay. So now consumer application we need to create. Or else what I will do here, I'll create Instead of going to create one more project, let me take another file, ActiveMQ. We take ActiveMQ consumer. So either you can create two projects or you can create single project and one for publisher. So this is a publisher flow and one for consumer. Okay, consumer is very simple. So what you can do? So I want to read the message at every five seconds or 10 seconds. So for that, what you can do? You can use scheduler here. So every five seconds or 10 seconds, okay, every 10 seconds, it will verify whether the message is available in queue or not. Okay. Now, take the logger. Like keep on running. Let me stop for some time. before read the message from Q, okay? Before read the message from Q. Next, go to JMS. So here we have consume, okay? Just take this consume. So here we have already configured, right? JMS config. So what are the configurations it is required? Here also, you need to activate. Active MQ client here, then username and password, broker URL you need to provide. See, this is your computer name. Instead of this, you can provide, instead of this, you can provide local host to local host or 127.0.0.1. Okay, both will work. Okay, click on okay, that's fine. 
So here you need to provide the same Q name. So what is our Q name? Our Q name is VATEC customer snow queue. Okay. Let's save it. Now you want to display, right? Okay. I want to write it into a file. Okay. I want to write or you can keep it as a logger also. So both I will do. A favorites. First I'll write it into a logger. Message received. Message received, you can consider as this is payload. Before this, you need to transform the message. JSON payload. Okay. Now, see, always it will display in a console only. Okay, so I want to keep it into a file so that we can easily understand whether all the messages are reading or not. Take the right operation here. Let's give the path. Okay, simply I'll write it here. Okay, this is the path. D files slash snow customer queue data data dot txt. So this is very important. Now instead of overriding, what I'm going to do is I'm going to append so that it will append all the data. Okay. Now let's try to run this project. Or what you can do, you can keep the debuggers also. Okay. If you keep debuggers, you will get to know. So how it is processing. Okay, next time I will run as a debug mode. So meanwhile, let me prepare the, let me prepare endpoint for this. Go to Postman or Thunder Client. Still, it is loading. Underline it is already set up. Okay, it is failed to retrieve. Okay, correct because there are no messages. Okay, it is deployed successfully. It is deployed successfully.
So why this kind of plant is not working? And also you can go with the post map. Okay, I'll verify this one. That's fine. Now what you can do is you can go to Postman and take new request localhost 8081 JMS slash publish or producer. Okay, let me check. Okay, publisher is there. So this is my resource path. So here we need to send the message. Okay. Click on draw, click on JSON. So here I need to provide the JSON values. I'm going to keep it as name. VI tech talks comma so the class MuleSoft. Okay. Just try to send this one. See as soon as if you send this one. See before read, okay. See before publish message into queue, okay. The message published is successful. So even if we want, you can verify here. Okay. Okay, let me clear the console. Just observe. So here I'm going to send the message. See, the send is successfully done. Message received. Okay, before publish, message into the queue, send message is successfully done. Okay, before read. Okay, before read. See, as soon as we are sending, so it's automatically reading the message. For better understanding purpose, what I will do, I will run in a debug mode. See here, instead of schedule, instead of schedule, what you can do, you can create the HTTP listener also, okay? Go to files. And you can verify. See here, two times. Okay, we have sent it two times the message. Okay, what I'm going to do here. Let me remove this. See, as soon as if you are sending the data, so what will happen? Just observe. First, it will go to producer. Okay, it will go to producer. First, it will print the logger. Then it will go to transform message. 
okay there are almost okay, every five seconds it is running so that is the reason it came here okay so better what i will do instead of See, or else instead of scheduler also what we can do we can directly keep the consumer okay as soon as the message is received okay i don't want to check for every five seconds or ten seconds what i will do here jms consume This is a better approach. See, that is the concept of publish and consume, right? As soon as if you publish, you have to read that message. That is what we need to do. Okay. JMS config. So no need to check any fixed frequency or Cron before read the message from the queue. Okay. Consumer transform message not received. Message message consumed successfully and writing into file. And write into your file. Okay. That's what we can do. And write into your file. It's not required to write into your file, but as per your understanding, okay. So instead of going to keep everything into your logs, I'm going to keep it here see keep on i am going to send the messages here okay oh instead of i will keep it okay first time i will send this one so now the project is not running let me debug See messages enqueued and dequeued. Okay. Before this, we have sent two messages and two messages were read successfully. Now it is running. So that is the architecture, right? Like, okay. So no need of any manual intervention. It's like, okay, if you want, you can read it for every five seconds or every one minute and two minutes. Okay, that is different scenario. But as soon as if you send the data, then receiver is going to receive the message. Okay. I think it is deployed successfully now. Okay, let me check. See, now it is deployed successfully. Let me clear the logs. Go to Postman or Thunder Client. Okay. Click on Send. See, it came to Producer. It came to Producer. Click on this F6. Okay. It is converted into JSON format. Now we are going to before publishing, right? Okay, this one. Now we are going to publish the message. Okay. 
the send message is successfully for the queue send message is successfully for the queue what you can do you can go to here and you can do refresh or you can click on this queue see now number of pending messages see how many there is one pending message now we are running in a debug mode okay so now it has to go here right okay this is a different flow i'll send some more messages ravi so still it is in debug mode click on f6 see see so far we are doing only publishing so because we are in a debug mode okay we are in a debug mode next i'll send one more okay click on this f6 and just stop so okay see as soon as if you send the message so it is automatically it will store into this queue see number of pending messages see there are three messages okay there are three messages has to read the consumer has to read the consumer now now i'll go with i'll go with this flow or else you can remove this okay you can remove the debuggers here and uh, or else what you can do you can i'll run this project now again okay. okay i'll run this project okay are we using the same topic name that is very important they are correct so acknowledgement mode okay whether we need to provide the acknowledge or something okay that we can do immediate okay i'm going to give it here that's fine see now there are three messages are pending okay see either you can keep on you can push the messages you can keep on you can push the messages into the topic or queue okay what automatically it will do it will read the messages from there it will read the messages see whenever there is an on new message right okay we have to implement this okay so now it is not reading because either you need to use one source so what is that source the source will be if you want to see it in a api so if you want to see it in api what you can do you can use http listener here so you have to keep on again you have to keep on check from the api or you want to write it into a file so here we have a concept called on new message just keep this one okay on new message so what is the destination so whenever there is a new message into there is a new message into this queue okay so automatically it will trigger and it will consume okay it will consume so it's very important either you can use a new message or you can go with http listener so if you go with http listener every time you have to hit okay you can you can replace this one into here okay so for that you can set the different resource path 
you can set the different resource path like JMS, JMS, consume. But I don't want to, I don't want to trigger anything as a consumer. Okay, only publisher, I want to publish the messages. So that's what I need to do. Okay. So for that, okay, let me save it. Okay, see, now all the messages are read successfully. So, so we didn't see any console, okay. Let me, let me trigger now. Okay, fine. Now I'm going to send the message here. Before publish message into queue, send message is successful. Okay, see the error is occurring. Okay, so what is the error? Operation timeout after thousand milliseconds. So the consumer type, Q consumer. So is there any default setup it is available? No, right? Just up so one more time. Yeah, it is failing here. Now just observe here. So this is very important. So it is going to before publish message into the queue and send message into the successful, okay? Before read the message from queue. See what is happening here, see on new message. So here we are already reading the message, okay? Here we are already reading the message. Again, we are trying to read the message one more time, okay? We are trying to read the message one more time. So that is the reason, that is the reason it is failing. So what I'm trying to do here, so first for testing purpose, for testing purpose, let me take HTTP listener, HTTP listener. Just add all the values here. Transform messages, okay. Just display into the front end, okay, okay. So let me remove this. This we will do it in later. Our new message concept. So the path, JMS, consumer. Okay, JMS consumer. Just observe here. So this is an easiest way to test it. So here we are doing publishing. Okay, you are keep on publishing from, you are keep on publishing from Postman. I will access it via browser. Local host 8081 slash JMS consumer. before read the message from Q. Fail to retrieve an option, okay. Operation timeout after 1000 milliseconds. Okay, while reading, while reading there is some issue, I think. Okay, let me search here. Send is done, see? So now, you are able to read the message successfully. Just observe, Kiran, news. See, I'm going to send the message. 
ओके रवि सो रवि आई एम गोइंग टू सेंड हियर सो एज सुन एज सी एज सुन एज इफ यू सेंड राइट ओके यू कैन एबल टू रीड दैट ओके यू कैन एबल टू रीड सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेंड अनदर मैसेज लाइक कानु न्यूज ऑफ जस्ट ऑब्जर्व See, the consumer is successfully ready. So, if you go to Active MQ here, okay. So now there are thirteen messages enqueued and decqueued. Okay, again keep on. I'm sending the same messages, publisher to this one. Okay, just observe. See now there are pending messages. So I'm not reading the messages because I didn't trigger this API or this endpoint. See if I trigger now, Anu only it will come again. Okay. So instead of this, I'll make it as Ajay now. Go to queues. See there are pending messages are one. Now there is only one pending message. See as soon as if you click this one, see Ajay will come. Okay, that's how. That's how it will work. Now. i don't want to so i don't want to trigger here okay so whenever there is new messages whenever there is a new messages it has to read automatically so instead of consume what you can do is you can take the a new messages the destination you can type here okay the destination this is my destination Just take all here. Let's convert into this, and let me remove this. Okay. Let me remove. Now I want to print in a console. I want to print in a console as well as file. I want to write it into a file, or I want to. Insert into a database, okay. So you can go with this option. Now where is your files? Okay, my files. I want to store it here. It's very simple. The files, customer snow data. Dot txt. Instead of overwrite, I will do append. Okay, see here. Just try to understand. So we are sending the messages. Okay, the producer is sending the messages to destination, the MVM. From MVM, the consumer is ready. Okay, from this queue. Okay, from this queue. So now, what is the destination MVM here? We are using Active MQ. We are using Active MQ configuration. So let's. Let's try to rerun the project later. See now it is deployed successfully. See, I'm not going to touch this consumer part. So here, this on new message is going to act as the consumer. Okay, whenever there is a new message into this topic or queue, what it will do? It will it will execute this code okay it will execute this code it will consume the message and it will transform and it will write it into a file okay now we will see end to end flow now okay just up so let me delete this also okay, now it's a very fast record i'm going to send see see as soon as if you send 
okay how it is coming okay you are going to send the message into okay you are going to send the message into this queue from this queue it is reading okay without delay ravi and suppose is there any failures in the consumer okay is there any failures happened in the consumer it will show the pending messages okay it will show the pending messages now you can go to files and open this see how beauty it is it is added all the three records ajay ravi and okay now i am going to add one more record finally we take talks publishing is done as soon as if you publish the consumer is going to read the messages okay so that's how it will work so that's how it is going to work now so first it will come to so whenever you are going to trigger from postman or thunder client it will publish the message into queue okay queue from this queue consumer okay so what is the consumer here so in our case the consumer is a new message okay a new message automatically it will read whenever there is a new message and it is going to write it into a file yeah that's it for today okay if you have any questions or any doubts you can ping me in a whatsapp group or you can comment in the comment box in the youtube comments i'll happy to assist you and there is one more thing there is an assignment for you guys okay so here we have a so as of now we have discussed about queues right okay you can create the topic you can create the topics and you can practice for this same okay you can try that one if you are unable to do that i'll create another video or i'll take another session for you guys okay i'll take another session yeah that's it for today thank you happy learning